Here you go. Now, if it tastes a little different, that's because we're using an authentic mudslide recipe based on a Peruvian village that lived off these drinks after being buried by an actual mudslide. What did you put in that? Chocolate milk and ketchup. Now, I know that eats into our profit margin. That's why I'm going to run across the street to the McDonald's and ask for some ketchup packets. Oh, don't do that. Are you kidding? Another hour like this and we can finally pay to have doors in the stalls in the men's room. This is starting to get weird. Yeah, it's the money in our pockets. I hope it gets a lot weirder. Dear Westagonians, if you were watching this, then I have slipped into a coma. Come in. She brought you some aspirin. Oh, thanks. Ow. You really got smacked, didn't you? Yeah. Surprised even me. But you know, Dan seemed a little wild on his bike that night, almost like he was not himself. Well, I guess that bike is super fast, maybe hard to control. He also seemed very talkative and overconfident. Oh, you know, the bicycle's a very social vehicle. A little aggressive. I gotta go. Do you need a drink of water? I mean, just water. What else are you gonna drink? No, I, I'm good. Mike, there's something I want to tell what? you. This isn't what it looks like. Also, can you knock next time? Hey, what's in this stout? My tongue is blue. Whoa, I can hardly understand what you're saying. How many have you had? Whoa, hey, maybe you should uh, sit this next round out, huh? <laughs> I think there's something wrong with this chair. Mm. Chair looks fine to me. Tell you what, why don't you go play some pool, order some food, and then you can have another beer. Fern, get that girl a burger. I'm not making her a burger. I'm through with all this fake stuff. But the burgers are real. I mean, they're probably real. I'm a bartender. My job is making drinks, real drinks, for drinkers to get drunk on by drinking. What's your point? You see that guy there? I've been serving him every day for 25 years. We smoked a cigar the night his son was born. We held the wake for his father in here. And I just served him a squirt of toothpaste and a Coke. Oh, you didn't use real Coke, did you? There's a case of no name in the back. I'm tired of being a joke bartender. Hey, babe. Is the bag behind me? No, it's outside. Can you see its reflection? A little bit. OK, I admit it's a good looking bike, but that's not why I'm here. Mike's faking it. I knew it. This is perfect. We control the story now. Where did you come from? I was listening in on speaker. This is awesome. Advantage Dan and Alan, the DA crew. Beer Brothers. Are you guys just drunk all the time? If the press asks, I am. Now, Dan, here's what we're going to do. We let Mike think he's one of us, and then we don't let him in the cyclist club. There is no cyclist club. Why don't you just talk to Mike? Good idea. And then I sneak up on him, all wasted. No. But I sneak up on him. No. We all go together. No. This is a terrible plan. Hello, Dan. Uh, you seem to be recovering. Yes, I'm feeling a little better, thanks. Oh, Something uh, prompt your recovery? I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> OK, look, we can do this quietly, or I can embarrass you in front of your friends. Oh, I'll take the embarrassment any day of the week because there is nothing quiet about drinking and bicycling. Who told you? Little birdie. Can't reveal my source. It would be unfair to Alan. I should go to the bathroom. Are you rolling? Nope. <laughs> Look at how he's walking. You must be drunk from all the booze we serve all the time. You sold me out. Mike let me join his blading group. I tried to fight him off as long as I could. You came to me. Not true. I just happened to be sitting on your front doorstep when you got home from work. Look, okay. I know you're faking your injuries. Oh, what? Because Claire saw me on an adrenaline hijacking in my office. No, that's not what it's called. You know, the thing you do when you're a teenager. You know, with your gym teacher, your hands and your feet. Wow. The, the guy. Jumping jacks! You're faking this? What? No. Oh. Whoa, you were drunk? No, no. People, listen. 
You're injured, and you were drunk because we were serving strong, strong alcohol. In fact, I probably shouldn't have even served you that much. We could have lost our liquor license. Hey, good news. I paid a fine and got our liquor license back. Jeff, you can put the food coloring away. So, I wasn't drunk? No, you just ran into Mike because of natural carelessness. Ah, huh. nothing's wrong with that, right? Damn it. Just extended my crutch rental for another week. Blame Fern. Ah, the real stuff. Hey, don't drink that, it's malt vinegar. Okay, and then uh, the bladers will get the lane from Tuesday at three until seven, and then it goes back to the cyclist till midnight. Only from the first to the 15th of each month. Yeah, what about the winter months? We roll all year. Aw, oh, man, I'm, I'm running out of napkin. Well, here, just use the fake casts. OK. All right, so all we got to do is sign. Uh, Jeff, you witness. Guys, council just voted unanimously. They're changing it to a carpool lane. Oh, oh man, what? Carpoolers are the worst. A bunch of no good fuel savers. They're the real enemy. Yeah, I'll drink to that for real this time. Oh, yeah, another hamburger. <laughs> <laughs>